Good day, I'm Lorraine Mendez, and this is your JIS News for Tuesday, July 21. The homeless and destitute located on the western side of the country now have another drop-in centre to access some critical life needs. The Trelawney Drop-in Centre was officially opened in Falmouth on Wednesday. It's the fifth to be built under the Local Government Ministry's Social Protection Programme. The others are in St Anne, St Mary, Hanover and St Elizabeth. St Thomas and St Catherine are the next scheduled parishes to receive drop-in centres. When we went out to do the feeding programme, during COVID-19, we found more than 200 people in Linstead alone living on the streets, have nowhere to go. And I took a decision with the staff of the ministry, and we found some funds. And we are now building a brand new facility in Linstead. At the centers, the most vulnerable in society are provided with food, medicine, and in dire circumstances, a place to sleep. The National Land Agency, NLA, will be improving its works in cadastral mapping and land registration with the recent procurement of equipment valued at $100,000. Cadastral maps provide precise description and identification of land, including ownership, boundaries, and details of the resources associated with the land. The equipment recently donated by the Government of the Republic of Korea through the Korea International Cooperation Agency will facilitate project management support for the registration of lands in Jamaica. Minister Leslie Campbell says the items come at a time when cadastral mapping and land titling is a major part of the economic growth thrust of government. The equipment represents a much needed injection of new technology in the land surveying in land surveying in Jamaica. It will take cadastral mapping at NLA to new levels, generating improved efficiency and in land surveying and land registration activities. 46 children are now better equipped to access online and digital learning resources, having recently been gifted tablet computers intended for educational use. The Early Childhood Commission ECC partnered with Isla's Lemonade Stand for Kids Foundation to purchase the tablets, which were handed over on Friday. This donation will go a far way. For those families who are unable to procure tablets, at a time when we're seeing COVID, what's happening, we should be able to teach our children remotely. The ECC's chairman says there will be a restriction on the amount of contact time that the children have with the tablets on any given day. And finally, Minister Grange, who also has the culture portfolio, is urging Jamaicans at home and abroad to celebrate Jamaica Festival 2020 by participating in the Spirit of Independence competition. The Spirit of Independence competition is a special focus for us this year as it is an excellent way to get Jamaicans involved in our independence celebration, even amidst the pandemic. So we are encouraging municipal corporations, business places, government offices, and private residences here and in the diaspora to demonstrate the spirit of independence by decorating their surroundings in the national colors in elaborate and eye-catching designs. Numerous prizes will be awarded under various categories this year. Best decorated town center, best decorated business place, best decorated government office, best decorated private residence, best diaspora community celebration, yes. and best media celebration, which is a special category for media houses that display the spirit of independence, not only visually, but through their content. Persons interested in entering the competition should submit six photographs, three of them showing the outside and three of the inside of the building or display. The photographs are to be submitted via email by August 3 to Jamaica Festival at jcdc.gov.jm. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Lorraine Mendez. Thanks for watching.